Quail. Quail. Unburn. Unburn. Episode of Ryan M Outdoors. Uh, today we're going to go pheasant hunting uh, here in central Nebraska. So buddy's coming to pick me up and we're going to go out and see what we can do. So I haven't been pheasant hunting for a while. Uh, I do a lot of duck hunting, but uh, not much pho pheasant hunting. So we will see um, how it goes today and uh, why don't you tag along with us. Well, here we are at our, our first spot. We got a dog right over here. And uh, there's three of us. Pretty big sized property here. Just gonna kind of stay in line here and see what uh, we kick up any pheasant. Man, what a beautiful morning. This is. Probably about 23 degrees outside. Hardly any wind. Got the dog right over here, kind of working, seeing if they can point anything out. By the cornfield, spotted them up ahead, so that's good. Great thing about pheasant hunting is you just never know when you're gonna kick one up. And they make a lot of noise when they get kicked up. So you really got to be on your toes. Got a nice little shelter belt going in through here. They could be hiding in. So it's great habitat for pheasant and quail. This is a non-toxic production area so we are shooting with steel shells not lead usually you shoot with lead when you're pheasant hunting but since this is a waterfowl production area as well I have to use steel Find a bird. What is your dog's name? What's, What's your dog's name? Fozzie. Fozzie. Hey Fozzie. Hunt him up. Looks like there's all kinds of tracks. Lots of tracks. Usually when there's a bunch of tall stuff towards the end of it. Where they all get spooked off, especially if they're running on us. Which, with lack of snow, they might be running on us. So, we need to be ready here towards the end to kick some up. Hi Fozzie, hi Fozzie, hi there, hi there, good job. Well hopefully this water is thick enough ice. And a bunch of pheasant tracks here. Oh yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, pretty deep, huh? Yeah. It is. So don't go that way. <laughs> I 
Oh, good. Good. That was a good route. <laughs> Last time around here, we were right before shooting time. We yeah. saw literally a hundred pheasants fly out On, of the corn. Oh, okay. Into the trees. Huh. We kind of ran a few out here. Sure. And shoot time was over. But he said he saw a handful of them. And, you know, morning could be a whole different story. I would uh, I would die to put my GoPro video on uh, on pheasant crossing the ice. You know how sweet that would be. Cool Looked like the Roadrunner. <laughs> <laughs> Hen, how far was it? Wait, this way. Come on, hunt him up. Hunt him up. Find a bird. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Good job, good job. Got a little waterfall over here. Hear it? There's some water that's pretty deep here and some thin ice. So a little bit of a roadblock, but I think we can get it right across over, over here. Hi, hi, hi there, hi. Good job. Good job. You doing good? You doing good up there? Huh? There might be a way to cross over here. Quail! Quail! Got one down. Here. Somewhere in here. Sweet. One. Yeah. They all go that way. Yeah, they went right off towards you guys. Okay. That's why I didn't shoot very many. I didn't know if any happened to... No, no, they all went that way. Well, that was a pretty good hunt that we had uh, today. When we went out to our uh, first location, we walked probably a good mile and uh, really didn't uh, scare anything up. Then we got to our second spot. And uh, I actually um, got into a couple of quail and scared them out of uh, some tall grass and trees and uh, shot one. The rest of them flew um, towards the other two that I was hunting with, but um, got one, one quail down, so that was cool, uh, which was neat for me because I haven't uh, shot quail for a very long time, so uh, that was good to get into those. So scared up a couple of roosters in the second spot that we were at. Uh, it, was, it was crazy because we never saw any anything fly out in front of us. Uh, they were really hunkered down and they were in a lot of the uh, deep tall stuff. Um, but we finally got into a couple of them uh, towards the end of the field that we were walking through. And uh, <clears throat> I think we put in probably about five miles for the, for the entire day. Um, which is one thing to walk five miles, but when you're walking through uh, pasture land and kind of walking knee high in snow and, and deep grass, um, it gets to be a lot and my legs definitely feel like jelly, but um, It was fun um, Also on the last spot that we went to we kicked up uh, a bunch of prairie chicken I didn't shoot at them because I thought that they were pheasant hens and uh, But another guy in our group uh, knew what they were and and we're able to get a couple prairie chickens down So so that was pretty cool um, and then we also 
uh, scared up a uh, rooster towards the end there and wasn't able to get them. But they were really hunkered down. We were really surprised. We thought maybe they were running on us because we t saw tons of pheasant tracks everywhere. But um, you really had to get close to them. And uh, there was a couple times where we almost stepped on a couple roosters um, before they got up in the air. But uh, we got two roosters, two prairie chickens, and, uh, and a quail. So it was a good uh, upland hunting today. And uh, we had a good time um, out there. So anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And be sure to like the video and subscribe to uh, the channel. And uh, we will see you on the next episode.